Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I didn't get any requests for this one, though I have had requests for uh, Dave Grohl and Foo Fighters before, uh, but I decided to go ahead and do this one here. It's Foo Fighters, the song's Monkey Wrench, and it's called Kiss Guy. And yes, I have seen this video before, as a while ago, you probably have too, but I thought it'd be fun to react to it, because it's just, it was great. I only saw it once, and it's been a while, so it'd be kind of like watching a movie, you know, many years later, I don't know how much of it I'll remember, but uh, let's just dive right into it. And you know what? Gosh, in Dave Grohl's defense, not that he needs one, you gotta love Dave Grohl. Everybody should love Dave Grohl. He's the real deal. He's funny. Uh, he never takes himself too seriously. He's always doing something creative. He's always giving back somewhere. I mean, he's barbecuing for firefighters in the middle of the fires in California. I mean, the guy's always doing something cool. And so, and he's always doing something really unexpected and, and contrasty and, you know, whatever. Uh, and in fact, even the name Foo Fighters itself, when they said, hey, how'd you come up with the name? He says, I don't know, it's kind of a stupid name. He says, I think I would have come up with a better name if I thought the band would have lasted. You know, it's like, it's just so down to earth and real. So with that said, Dave Grohl, Foo Fighters, and it is The Kiss Guy. The song's called Monkey Wrench. Let's rock. Hey, Kiss Guy. I'm looking at you. Did, did you have a fucking sign thing that you were holding up? Let me see that sign. What instrument do you play? This? <laughs> do you suck? <laughs> Don't fucking say kinda, because I won't invite you up here. <laughs> it doesn't get any better. Look, guys, come on, really, think about this, right? If this was real, and I think it was, because I don't know, I mean, maybe it's just, you know, a, a, a plant or something in the audience. But, I mean, that is as funny as funny gets. And so, Kiss Guy comes up, holds up his sign in the audience. How many times, you guys, you entertainers, you singers out there, thinking, man, if I was only up on that stage, I could do it better, right? You want to have your shot. And Dave Grohl is the kind of guy that'll give you your shot. So, and he's not so insecure that, you know, he's not willing to do that. So with that said, let's, let's continue to rock. Here we go. By the way, my cheeks hurt from smiling so much already. And I haven't even, I'm only, you know, 38 seconds into this thing. Yeah, right now, Gene Simmons. Get your ass up here, Kiss Guy. Come on, let's hit Awesome. Too excited yet? You might shit the bed in front of your hometown, dog. <laughs> Just jump up. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had to sit here staring at this motherfucker all night long. <laughs> oh man, like I said, how many bands would just stop? And just, you know, and that's true entertainment. That's when you're so confident with your with your craft that you could just have fun with it. That's what I've talked to you guys about, about knowing your craft so well, knowing your song so well, knowing your singing and guitar playing or whatever instrument you play so well that you can just entertain and have fun with it and your audience is just engaged. And here we are seeing entertainment at its finest, in my opinion. He's calling up the kiss guy. So let's let's continue to see what happens here. Come here, kiss guy. <laughs> What's your name, Kiss Guy? Fuck it, I don't even want to know. Your name is Kiss Guy right now. <laughs> you ever done this before? It's really fun. Look at him, he's panting. You know, you can tell he's nervous, man. He's up there, so it looks pretty doggone legit to me. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Please give me some notes here uh, in, uh, in the uh, answers uh, in YouTube, but let's check this out. Why this, this is so awesome to me. Okay, you guitar players will really relate to this, right? I kid you not, I kid you not, I drug around my own pick all my life for that moment. Maybe not the moment with, you know, Dave Grohl and Foo Fighters, but so that I was prepared, because I used uh, Jim Dunlop Jazz 3s, and they're really hard to find. They're really small and they're thick. And, you know, it's the pick that I like, and without that pick, you're, you know, you're got four thumbs on your right hand, right? So, 
you know, I would carry my pick out to give me any opportunity to play, man, boom, I was there. Well, that's one thing, okay, that's the first ob observation. The second observation is Dave Grohl likes to play his guitar pretty stinking low, and this kid's pretty short compared to Dave, look at him, right? I think we're at, what, a minute and 48 seconds? Like, I need glasses these days, but yeah. And so anyway, so he's short, so that strap is down to his knees, okay? So let's, let's add that into the equation of how awkward this situation is for him to just walk up, even if it is a plant, which I, I don't think it is, but you know, whatever. So he's walking up into a situation just boom and he's gonna be expected to perform right so with that said let's continue to check it out he's, <laughs> he's already a rock star <laughs> he's getting the audience going man and Dave just walks off the stage that's great he's running around You know, it's kind of funny. Um, you know, I, I haven't seen a lot of uh, Foo Fighters shows, so bear with me. But Dave actually looks a little awkward standing there with only a microphone and not a guitar in his hand. So if anything, Dave is in kind of a little bit of an awkward situation because he doesn't really think of himself as some great singer. He's a singer, guitar player, entertainer. So look at him, he's a little kind of awkward. He's kind of looking back, you know. I'm gonna back this up a little bit. I want you to see this at like uh, 220 or whatever. I'm gonna back at 217. I'll back it up there. So when this kid runs across the stage, watch Dave. He's, he's kind of out of his element, right? Check it out. See what I mean? He's you know kind of pointing to him over and over again. You know, he's he's like kind of deferring himself. So he seems pretty awkward without his guitar. I'd, I've never really seen that part of him before. But anyway, just another observation. It's great, man. Admit it, this, for us entertainers out there, this is our dream. This is what we sit in the audience and go, I wanna do that or I can do that better. How many guitar players does it take to turn into a, a screw in a light bulb? Uh, <laughs> one to do it and 99 to cross their arms and go, I can do that better. But how many singers does it take to screw in a light bulb? Just one, because the whole world revolves around them. <laughs> you probably heard those jokes before. All right, they're old. But anyway, but we all look at this thing and we're up there going, oh my gosh, this is like, this is our dream come true and it's gotta be his dream come true, that's for sure. And he's killing it, man. He's ready, he's ready. So he can take the slot. So all you guys out there doing a, you know, a singing show or trying out for a band or whatever, this kid showed up with the goods and he's got, he's getting what he deserves, man. He's getting the spotlight. <laughs> See, I told you. Because he's out of his element. He's like, whoa. He wasn't expecting that. Looks so comfortable, man.
one more thing. It's pretty doggone risky of Dave to have someone come up. Like, I've invited people to come up and sing before. We're like, oh, you know, please step away from the microphone. And, you know, and then I've had other people that were pretty decent. But, you know, I've invited people to dance with me on stage and whatnot. And, you know, you never know who this guy is. It could be a serial killer. I mean, who knows, you know, right? I'm just freak, you know, up there, start bashing stuff around, break my guitar or whatever. But so Dave's taking a pretty big chance in doing this. So I think that's, that's Dave, man. That is Dave Grohl. He is a chance taker and he wins a lot because of it. See how uncomfortable Dave is though? He's kind of gawky walking around. He's like out of his element. He's not, doesn't have his guitar around. And that's a security blanket for all of us, you know, that are guitar player singers. It's, it's, you know, it's our prop. It's what we use to, you know, do stuff with him. Without it, we'd be a little naked, you know, a little uncomfortable. You know, it's kind of interesting. I've heard Dave play a lot and somehow, I don't know, he might have backed off the tone, tone controls or whatever, or maybe he's just, the rig just sounds cool. Um, but that's kind of a real sexy, warm tone for Dave. Dave's really kind of got a really in your face, gravelly sort of pointed uh, metal, metallic kind of sound. And this is kind of some warm, sexy, Carlosy kind of sound, you know? <laughs> That's fine. Shh, bring it up. Dude, your face is falling off. Come here. <laughs> your face is falling off. It's melting. Kiss guy. You're the fucking kid. I'm gonna fucking scream this shit so hard. I'm not screaming for you. Are you ready? Taylor? Let's break it down for this guy. Yeah. One last EP for I quit. I never wanted anybody. I could fit into who I am. Shall we? Yeah, I want to add one more thing to this. Um, you know, for again, you band member guys out there, um, it's pretty hard to walk into a band situation and lock with the guys. You know, you usually have to play with them a little bit and kind of get to know their personality. This guy rushes, this guy plays behind the beat, this is how the drummer plays, blah, blah, blah. So it's pretty hard to be tight to walk into a situation like that. So the one thing that makes me wonder a little bit is he's so tight with the band, did he rehearse that? I don't know, because that does make me question it a bit. Again, you guys put in the, in the you know, in um, the description, not the description, but anyway, make some comments and let me know, because I don't know, I should have looked this up, but I didn't, uh, if, if this was pre-rehearsed, -re -pre because he's awfully doggone tight, and he knows a lot of the cues as he's going around. Yeah, he knows the song really well, but there's a lot of cues taking place, live cues and stuff, and he's getting direction from Dave, that's true, and even still, it was just super fun to watch, but 
like I said, that makes me question a little bit because I know how hard it is to be tight with a band, just boom, walk in. And, and, and the other thing is too, you know, you can't hear yourself. I mean, does Dave have his sound on the stage on both sides? Is it on one side? How is he able to hear himself so well? And so on. So there are some questions to this, but it's still really cool. Awesome. Two thumbs up for Dave Grohl, man. He does it again. And he's invited like Rick Astley and like crazy people that we least expect come on, on his stage. And uh, it's just been a lot of fun. His show is one big party, that's for sure. Hey guys, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel. I had a good time with you. And until next time, God bless gang. Peace out. Hey guys, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. That will actually take you to another page where you want to click on the bell icon and it opens up a menu and the menu has notifications on it where there's a little box you can check where it says send me all notifications for this channel. Check the box and then click the save button and you'll get notifications from me every time I have a cool video come out. Okay? Thanks guys. Peace out.